By 2050, the number of human mouths to feed is estimated to rise to above 9 billion. But with climate change looming, it could greatly affect our livestock, so researchers are studying the effects of eating insects as an alternative to meat. Climate change is going to cause you know, more flooding, it's going to cause um, quite unusual weather patterns, so a lot more rain, a lot more heat, kind of you know, what we're starting to experience really. Um, in the UK as an example that we haven't really experienced the kind of strange weather that we have and because of that there's going to be a lot more um, flooding of land, there's going to be a lot more disease, we're actually going to have a lot more insects as pests, it means it's going to be harder to grow, grow animals like you know beef cattle, um, lamb, um, pork, it's going to be harder, it's going to be harder to grow wheat which of course we use in so many of our everyday you know essential food products it's going to be harder to grow fruit and vegetables many people may feel put off from eating a cooked mealworm or a grilled cricket this is because of our own psychological barriers of fear and disgust according to the lead researcher on edible insects so food neophobia is the fear of trying new foods so you know and and this is um, this varies across individuals so some people might be really uh, enthusiastic about trying new foods whereas some people won't because they they kind of have this inhibition so it, they might find it disgusting or they might find it unsafe for consumption um, and the second thing i'm looking at is uh, disgust and disgust is quite an interesting emotion because uh, disgust has a purpose and disgust and fear aren't necessarily uh, bad things because what disgust does is it keeps us from ingesting poisonous substances and because a lot of insects have been you know are poisonous so that's a kind of uh, evolutionary mechanism that we've developed to help ourselves from not uh, ingesting poisonous substances despite their unappealing nature they're full of nutritious benefits well, they um, are very high in vitamins and minerals. They have very high fiber content. Um, as I said earlier, they're very, very high in protein. They have high omega fat, so your, your three and six, which medics tell us are so, so important, and many people don't have enough of them. So um, very, very rich in, in all of the minerals, vitamins, fats that we need for you know, healthy bodily function. On a worldwide scale, eating insects are embedded into cultures. With around 2,000 edible species, there seems to be plenty to choose from. Here in the UK, it's still a new concept, but according to research, it could help climate change. It's quite a realistic alternative. Um, and the, the most obvious explanation to that is that eating insects is not a new practice. So uh, we've been eating insects for a really long time. There's about 2 billion people that eat insects in today's world right now. And this is practiced across the continents of uh, South America, Asia, Australia, Africa, and uh, where it's considered quite uh, regular gastronomic practices in a few communities. The second broader reason why it's credible is because of the resource saving potential. So insects, um, to grow insects, you consume a fraction of the required amount of water, feed or energy. Um, and lastly, because of um, its contribution or its potential contribution towards uh, food security and sustainability, the rate at which we are consuming livestock uh, at the moment is simply unsustainable. The researchers have been taking their insects on tour to a variety of events and festivals to normalise the concept of eating insects. Kirsty Chambers, that's TV.